David Williams of Jesus Ministries. You ever try to help someone, whether it's from the perspective of counseling them or whether you're encouraging them to 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 do better in their relationship with their spouse or whether they're calling you and and you get you get the picture that they they are they're only taking your advice or they're only uh, letting you counsel them to the degree that you're satisfying their their anguish so they want your counsel because they're in anguish they're in emotional distress or mental distress but they don't necessarily want change we need to be aware when the people that we're counseling or that we're working with and we're trying to help develop that we're actually trying to help them develop that we're not just pacifying or satisfying their desire for conversation that we're not just pacifying their desire uh, f for somebody to dump on they, they they might they like you they like the advice that you give they might even want you to pray for them hey pray for me but they're saying do it from right where I am they don't necessarily want to change the way that they're living they don't necessarily want to take your advice they just want to hear your advice see that's why motivational speakers and talk show hosts that's why they're so popular that's why we've got a, a false church movement that attempts to appease people emotionally. It's because many people, they want the emotional gratification of good advice or good counsel. They just want someone to talk to at the moment. But they don't actually want change. And what Jesus Christ offers you and I is change. He offers total transformation. He actually wants to deal with the reason why you're having the issues in the first place. But when you and I are not surrendered to that, then we might tend to be a people who are just seeking for the symptoms, the symptoms to be dealt with. Let's say a guy's arm is turn, turning blue, you know, regular Caucasian guy's arm is turning blue. Well, he could just as readily go to the nearby Walmart or any store that sells makeup and then he can put makeup on his arm to address the fact that his arm is turning blue. But what's the cause? Why is his why is his arm turning blue? Why is he losing oxygen in his arm? Uh, you might not know. But he might want to deal with it because it might it, his situation may be critical. And sometimes you've got people who call you and they want to tell you their problems and they 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 want you to pray with them or they want you to you know give them a scripture that can help them out, but they're not necessarily wanting to deal with the root of the issue. And you don't want to waste your time. You want to be able to allow, well, allow God to help you to, to distinguish between whether this is a real issue or a superficial one. If this individual really wants change or they're, they're being superficial in their attempt, because once you begin to expect change of people. Once you begin to hold people accountable, and that's what I believe that God wants us to do. I believe that God wants us to hold people accountable for the advice that we're giving them. I believe God wants us to hold people accountable for the prayers that we're praying for them. Hey, I've been praying for you. You've called me and you've talked to me about this issue quite, for quite some time now, and I've been praying for you. We've been we've even prayed together. What are you willing to do from this point? Because Hey, if you're, if you're still wanting to do what it is that you're doing and you don't want any help, if you don't want any progression in your situation, I can't help you. God wants us to hold people accountable to the information that we give them. And that's why Jesus said, don't give what is holy unto dogs. Don't, don't cast your pearls before the swine, the pigs. Uh, God wants us to be good stewards and good caretakers of the word that he teaches us and that he shares with us and, and good caretakers and good stewards of the power that he gives to us to bless people, to help people. But just be aware, ask the Lord to help you to distinguish between those who are just kind of trying to live off of your peace, live off kind of almost in a parasitic way. Those who are trying to live off of the grace of God on your life, live off of the peace of God uh, uh, on your life, but they're not really wanting any 
peace for themselves. Let them know that, listen, the peace that I, that I have, you can have. You can have it. The, the tranquility that I have, you can if it's available to you if you want it. And if they don't want it, ask God how you should proceed from there. He may want you to separate from that individual because they may become a drain. And God didn't call us to that, to have people live uh, with us just to drain us of the grace. No. At some point, you got to get your own oil. Matthew 25 talks about that. At some point, you got to get your own resource. And the King of Heaven, Jesus Christ, He's a resource. Uh, if you're in the South Florida area, come visit us. We're at 1750 Osceola Drive, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33409. 1750 Osceola Drive, West Palm Beach, Florida, 33409. God bless you. We'll talk again.